Oh, guys, this is Wrens, Georgia. This is a deep hole in Wrens, Georgia. Kind of in the middle of nowhere. And here we have the Norfolk Southern trains. And um, I don't get a chance to see most of, uh, many of these because most of what I see is CSX. And I live about 20 miles from here, so. But uh, it's nice to see these really nice looking engines and these are like pecan trees over here and this is really uh, farmland where we're at here is a lot of farmland and they got some really good uh, southern restaurants down here too but I just want to take a look at some of these uh, Norfolk train engines because I don't get to see them very often Now a little closer view there. I always love that horse on there. It reminds me of uh, the horse like on a Ferrari or something like that. I don't know about these, but generally uh, these are like uh, uh, 72 feet long, 16 feet tall, and... Uh, 10 foot wide running on a four foot eight and a half inch track I believe it is which is pretty narrow to be carrying that much weight right? and uh, see right here somebody's got Trump right there 2020 and you've got these cars down here I don't know what these tankers hold right here but I know you have gravel cars and stuff like that too. Okay, this one here, 3498, is running. It's got its light on. And right behind it is our other Norfolk Southern. And then we have, I don't know how long this train is with these particular tankers. I'd like to get an idea. But this one here looks uh, fairly new, number 3289. Doesn't look like it's too old. And, and neither does this one. And notice the sign here, Operation Lifesaver. Look, listen, and live. Makes you wonder how anybody can pull out in front of a uh, train, doesn't it? And it may take them a mile to stop. another life I think I would like to have been an engineer so now look the front of this one at 9 95 55 engine you know, I think this one's been around a little while here You may notice, you can probably hear this engine running pretty good. It doesn't make a lot of noise. I mean, it's a little louder than a car, but they are really quiet. Now you can tell this is a, a fairly new one here. The paint looks real good on it. You don't see a, a lot of blemishes on this one like you do some of the others. And you can see where the paint's faded on this one. And this is a, a lot older one here. They can hook up these two engines right here 
and they can run them off the same uh, computer system from the front engine which is pretty neat uh, this engine up here can control this one back here because they're they connect the interface and here's the other side of this little deep pole right here that's pretty neat it's a little different view here as trains are parked uh, I wouldn't be standing here if they wasn't. Okay, you see the front of this one, the older Norfolk. You got this, this steps going up here, and there's a door right there to go inside. They got a lot of doors on these things on the outside, too, I guess. To work on the engine and other electronics and all that stuff. I've heard this is supposed to be a really good barbecue place, Little Jake's Barbecue. It's right here in Wrens, close to Ace Hardware. And uh, also right beside the Norfolk uh, train station. And revving up that engine a little bit. Here's another Norfolk uh, engine right here on the side track. And that barbecue really, really smells good. And the 3498 Norfolk engine. And a lot of these are clay cars. This is uh, Thiel uh, clay mines. And uh, they haul a lot of clay through this area right here. I wanted to see that graffiti. And they got some tankers at the very end. But. Those engines aren't that loud either, really. Uh, Probably, uh, I think they go around 3,500 to 4,500 horsepower. Some even go up to 6,000 horsepower, some of the newer ones, but on uh, some of these train uh, engines. And 6932. What I understand, they can do from 0 to 60 in about 45 seconds. 0 to 60 in 45 seconds, which is pretty good for something this big and especially pulling a train behind it with these various cars and stuff I wanted to see the uh, graffiti on here here we go the train's starting to move she's just barely creeping just starting you don't really hear it revving up that much But all those cars behind there, there's a little bit of gap between them. So you don't want them to clang too hard when you get all the slack out of them. There's some graffiti here. That's some pretty uh, delicate work there on that skull. I'll try to figure out what it says later, but. There you go, hear the horn. Pretty interesting work. Going across the highway now. This white stuff, this is that chalk from the chalk mines. Oh, 
this is about the right time here. And we got some tankers here, Thiel. That's part of the chalk mines. Yeah, chalk mines, big business here in uh, Wrens in Georgia. And uh, this area down in here, not just Wrens, but uh, McDuffie County, Jefferson County, Washington County. Graffiti there, some colorful graffiti. Oh, that's pretty. And all these tankers got some gravel, the rock quarry. Right beside a barbecue place here, it really smells good. Man, it smells good. Well, he's picking up speed as you can tell. Again, when they take off, they take off real slow because there's a lot of slack. Oh, it can be a foot of slack or so in between these cars. Got some wood here, transport. There she goes. The North Fork. Got here, it's about the right time for that one. Here we are looking at the Norfolk engines. The Norfolk. I think we have different ways of pronouncing that down here. We got this engine here facing forward. And we got this engine here facing backwards. Got these cars here. Got a pretty colored car there. And we got these tankers down here. Another hot day, about 93 degrees, I think.